good morning good afternoon good evening depending on the time and location you are tuned to our channel when i saw this i was touched listen to this and drop a comment in the description and let's pray and wait to august 1st which is some days ahead see you on the other side in the city of worry a few days ago i made a broadcast demanding that the president will draw the agreement of the samoa agreement I'm glad that they have taken heed to the demand of Nigerians and will draw that agreement. Now, I, I want to say, Mr. President, we honor and respect your office as the president of this country. But then we demand from you today. Uh, and we as citizens of this country, we want to see the action in the next one week. Taking proactive position to end bad governance you must end it you must rise to the occasion that we are tired as citizens of this country watching you i mean watching the members of your cabinet running down this country nigeria is blessed and has more than enough to take care of things i have traveled by road the past 40 days just a few days ago, I came by train from a local chair right to worry. And I saw the plight and the state of Nigeria. The Minister of Wars is failing the call and the responsibility you have given to him. So what we are demanding in the next coming days, we want to see a proactive action. Or else, the 1st of August, 2024, we the citizens of nigeria will take the street and go on a peaceful protest demanding that the end of bad governance is enforced in nigeria you must you must and i'm not saying you may i say you must end bad governance in the presidency how can we in such a situation where we are for you and the members of the Senate to approve over 15 billion naira for the house of the vice president when we already have the place where the prime minister of Britain lives is a three bedroom house. And that down the street, number 10, has been there. They have their own mansions. But when you come as a servant to the people, you must serve the people. That's why the prime minister that suddenly lost his place apologized to the British people for bad governance. We are demanding the judiciary, chief judge, chief judge, or chief judge of Nigeria, whatever name you are called, we Nigerians are demanding from you. You must act on the judiciary. All of these conflicts and counter, counter court judgments must come to an end. The most corrupt system in Nigeria is the judiciary. We are demanding the end of it. We are demanding the end of molestation by the, by the police on the ways and the highways. This must come to an end. Today, we are demanding every governor every governor you are not you are not our lord you are not you are the servant of the people it is the people that voted you into power you must serve the people you must bring an end to the contractors that have received more than 50 percent mobilization all of you contractors we know you i drove from just to Kano, Kano to Jigawa, I drove from just to Lokoja. And what I saw with my eyes, I am demanding that all of you contractors that have been paid for you to walk our roads, return back to site, or else Nigerians will respond to you. Today, I am asking churches and mosques it's time to end all evil religious services. We cannot be living in a nation where people are turning 
our altars and pulpits in the mosques and in the churches as a place of deception. We want to say all churches and mosques where people are turning into a commercial center, it must come to an end. It must come to an end. Nigeria must be safe. I want to admonish all members of IBBN, all of you, pastors and imams that are members of IBBN, please, on the 1st of August, if nothing is done, move to every government house and present your protest letter that enough is enough. This time around, we will not retreat until there is a change. Mr. President, we are not asking you to resign, but we are asking you to act. If you don't act, then Nigerians will demand for you to vacate that seat. But now, electoral reform must be enforced. You, you, Apabio, the Senate President, you better behave yourself. Enough is enough. And all of the things you've been doing in the National Assembly, we have been watching it as citizens. But from now, all of you members of the Senate and House of Representatives, you better be the representative of the people. If you don't do that, we will sack you from the National Assembly. I am saying this, that in the coming days, you must rise to occasion and bring about electoral reforms. We, Nigerians, are tired of the manipulation coming from the international community. It's time we solve our problem by ourselves. And I want to say this. I want to say this. That the military must rise up to occasion. You can end this bandit, banditry in two weeks. We have seen the communication and the statement of Zamfara governor. We have seen other governors. And we realize there are certain men that have vowed that they must not allow peace to reign in Nigeria. You know where the bandits are. You know their location. We are giving you these few days to rise to occasion. And we cannot continue to mobilize money to pay bandits in order to release our people. I recently, a few days ago, I had to raise more than 40 million for the release of a pastor that was arrested and kidnapped by the Boko Haram. But we're saying enough is enough. Enough. You can see my sweat. And I'm saying this, that by the 1st of August, all of you that are in the city of Joss, you are to mobilize yourself to gather at 7 a.m. at the old airport junction for, work, for us to take a march to the government house. And all of you across the country, members of IBBN, you must move to the House of Assembly, move to the government house, and present your letter of protest. And we are demanding that Africa must get it right. Nigeria is the leader of Africa, and we must do things right. God bless Nigeria, and God bless Nigerians, and the Lord shine his light upon every Nigerian. Amen.